Hi, I'm Dave. I'm with jamplay.com and I'm here to teach you Back in Black by ACDC. So I'm just going to play a little bit for you here and we'll go from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to break down the three chords that are kind of the signature chords of, of Back in Black. And the first three chords are E, D, and A. And if you know those chords, you're already ready to rock and ready to go after it. I'm just going to show you just a little bit of variance that Angus Young and Malcolm Young use on these so that you get the right chording. The first one is an E major chord and it's played pretty much in its entirety except for about the last three strings so you're going to hit a good portion of them so you're hitting the first, the first top four strings Okay. the next chord is going to be D and the only difference in this chord instead of playing a full D with this one on the bottom is you're going to pull finger off of it on the very bottom string. So it's going to be an open string but you're not going to hit it. Basically all you're trying to do is hit the, the three strings here. You're going to hit the fourth, third, and the second. Okay? So it's going to sound like not Okay? Next chord is the A chord and due to economy of motion and things like that when you come down from this D can hit the A like that. A lot of times textbooks show you that the A is one, two, three fingers, like I show it here, and then hitting the whole thing. And that's not the case with ACDC. A lot of their stuff is using what's called a five chord, and it's basically a very strong, heavy power metal chord. So all we're trying to do is get those first three. We're going to get the A three strings. You're going to get the fifth, the fourth, and the third. Okay? So, you're, so when it comes all together, this is what it sounds like. Okay? So that's the main thing that you have to worry about, is just getting that rhythm. And you got to think groove when you're thinking of how this rhythm goes. Because when they start it, you can hear them do the little pick thing. He goes... He's already establishing the rhythm for everybody else in the band and for the guitars for throughout that entire song. So just remember. Okay? So that's, that's the main thing with that. Once you get past those three chords and, and you feel like you can get the changes, you know, everything will run really smooth for you. Okay, so I'm going to just play this, the verse sequence in which Angus Young and Malcolm Young are playing and then I'm going to break down the little single string things that are going on there. Okay, so you can see that there's two different things going on there. First off, He's using the the sixth string, the fifth string, and the, I'm sorry, the fifth, first, second, and third string. Even guys that have played 30 years do that too. So don't feel so bad. That uh, you can work on this. It simply goes. Okay. So what you're doing there is you're going third fret to open, third fret to open on the second string also, and then you're doing a bend that is actually going to bend a whole step where it would actually be here, so that you get that particular tone, okay? So it's, okay, so you're using those notes. 
Now the second part, there's actually two different ways you can play this. And if you've been playing a little bit longer, this is a great way to help your stretching with your left hand and get your, in the, or your fing, first finger and your pinky fingers working a little more fluidly. The way I was doing it is just the way that I have learned to do it, but I've also found as I've kind of been studying through this song that there's another way to play it too. So what we're going to accomplish here is... And if you listen to the song, you can actually hear that little bit of slide. So it's however you want to accomplish it. So let me show you that one more time. So that's one way of accomplishing it. Now if you, if you don't feel like it's kind of intimidating for you, that's fine. Here's the other simple way to play it. So all you're doing is just hitting this note twice. Okay. All the, all the uh, picking techniques are really pretty simple. ACDC, that's the one thing that makes them so great and so popular is even though they're playing really simple rhythms, uh, they work and they sound great. So remember that you have or to help you accomplish that particular task on those songs. So one more time it just goes So that's going to be your, your whole verse, your intro and your verse to get you moving along on this song, okay? Very signature oriented. It's a very hooky little piece. Okay, so we're not going to get into the lead in this song. Right now we're, we're concentrating on the rhythm part. Uh, probably in a future lesson on jamplate.com we'll take a look at that. And also if you have any problems or issues trying to figure out the way the techniques work, those type of things, you can also look at those on the jamplay.com and there will be parts there to help explain that for you. So keep that in mind. Use, use it, the whole thing to help be a reference and help you become a better player.